South Africa has experienced several protests against foreign nationals in the past two weeks that resulted in looting of shops owned by migrants. The protesters are demanding that illegal foreigners be deported with immediate effect. They blame them for various social ills. Home Affairs Department has admitted that illegal migrants do present a challenge in this country. We have a problem and it's a cause of concern for us. Uh, last year we deported 30,000 people who were in the country without documentation. Uh, in the last couple of years we've also been pushing for the border management agency which is going to man the South African border to make sure that everyone that comes in and out of South Africa comes to regular means. Home Affairs Department says deportations happen on an ongoing basis and often those who end up being deported are foreign nationals who come into this country with the right set of papers. The challenge is that people come in as visitors and then they don't, they don't go back home or people come in as, as asylum seekers and then they, they, they disappear in South Africa and they don't want to go home. Since 1998 or so, we've taken in around a million asylum seekers. So the issue of, of, of people who are undocumented is not as, is not as uh, prevalent as people exist, but there are enough for us to be concerned about it. Twitter says recent deportations have nothing to do with recent protests against immigrants. The process it takes to deport somebody takes two months. So if, they, if, if there's a, a number that's being deported now, it has absolutely nothing to do with, um, with what is happening in the country. So the people who would be deported this week would be people that were detained in December already when there was no xenophobic violence. So we process people, we communicate with embassies or their countries and first verify if a person is their citizen. We both agree that the person traveled without the necessary documentation. We agree to send them back to their country of origin. They agree to accept them. So everything is done through a bilateral agreement. It's not done haphazardly. The department will be meeting with some organizations that represent foreign nationals in this country in the coming weeks. Yudis Andremela, CGTN, Pretoria, South Africa.